welcome back to my channel. My name is Satya. Hope you guys are all doing well. In today's video, I am going to create this makeup look using some of the new products. So, which I recently bought and I was trying for some days and I could not get a time proper time to talk to you about this uh, in a video. So, I thought I would create a makeup look and create a look. For you so in this uh, i have kept everything in this box and as you can see i have so many new products and some of the old products to match here and there and i use the profusion palette today i really like this guy this is the first time i'm using a profusion product uh, so i really like and for the eye makeup i use the color pop so jaded palette from color uh, kathleen light collab and the palette is such an amazing palette guide i started with some color and then ended up with another color so everything came uh along together very nicely so if you wanna see how i achieve this makeup look and what are the products i used in this video yeah continue watching and without any further delay let's get started good morning guys i just uh, woke up it's early morning i think it's uh, 7 30 in the morning uh, to film this video i just woke up at uh, six o'clock um so i just took a shower so my hairs are wet by the time i finish my makeup it will be okay so i'm gonna start with uh, my moisturizer so before that i'm gonna clip my hair back so that it will not disturb me so for the moisturizer i have a new moisturizer uh, which i really wanted to try from long time so this is the l'oreal paris uh, hydra fresh handy shine ice gel purifying and mattifying uh, moisturizer so this is what it looks like um once i tried this moisturizer for my insta video for my youtube i did not try but only once i tried i really liked as a first impression so this is what the uh, bottle looks like a very nice luxurious uh, packaging there was a amazing offer on this product so i thought i would give it a try so this is what it looks like it's a, like a very jelly kind of a moisturizer as you can see uh, it's so jelly i'm gonna take that much i'm gonna massage all over my face it has that a uh, little bit of fragrance like um, ocean fragrance like uh, it this a product is made up of some uh, ocean source water from France so because of that it smells like that uh, smells like a deep sea water um, but the thing is uh, it really moisturizes my face as you can see it is a really a anti shine product it doesn't give any kind of uh, shine on my face that I really like in this moisturizer yeah as you can see and also it give, gives that good moist uh, mattifying effect so as a first impression I really like this moisturizer guys so I'll be keep on trying this moisturizer and I'll keep you uh, updated so I'm gonna moisturize my lips uh, with my Colourpop Juicy uh, So Juicy uh, lip gloss so I use this as a lip gloss and also lip balm I really like this product so I have been using so next we'll be moving on to the primer for the primer i have two products with me one is the wet n wild photo focus cucumber three in one primer water so this is what it looks like and uh, the other one i have the uh, the body shop tea tree pore minimizer so i'm gonna use these two products as a primer uh, this is the first time i'm trying a primer water so i don't know how it feels uh, i don't know whether it is for oily skin or uh, dry skin uh, i just read all the description but i could not find uh, uh, for a uh, which skin type you have to use so thought let me give it a shot so i'm gonna first uh, spray all over my face so this is what it looks like Ooh, that was a nice spray and it has uh, that uh, cucumber smell uh, in it so i'm gonna wait for a few seconds uh, to soak this product into my skin so i'm gonna take this paper and i'm gonna just dry my face oh guys as you can see uh, it instantly uh, absorbing into my skin and i don't feel uh, and then i have applied something i really like this uh, primer water i need to dry a lot of guys it gives a so smooth surface to my uh, face so next i'm gonna use my uh, the body shop tt uh, pore minimizer so actually i was not in a uh, mood of trying this product but i went to central mall here in bangalore for uh, some occasion uh, my baby's uh, wedding day was there and i went there so i wa i wanted to buy some uh, skincare product so there was an offer like uh, if you buy four items you get a discount of 
friendly person so I ended up buying this uh, primer so this primer is like a very watery and jelly kind of a primer and it has a uh, green tea as the main ingredient so it uh, helps to treat my skin as well so I took a pieces amount of the primer and then I massaged as you can see my skin is feeling very very mattified I really like this uh, consistency and this particular product is suitable for blemished skin so if you have a blemishes like me you can definitely try this product so next we'll be moving on to the foundation uh, for the foundation I'll be using the NYX Can't Stop Own Stop foundation actually uh, this I bought um, one year pack itself uh, from Carl's Beauty so after that I used two to twice I think and I really like this foundation so since they launched in India I did not try this foundation so th I thought uh, so if I review at this time it will be it will be helpful for you to purchase this foundation so I'm gonna try my next can't stop own stop foundation so following that I'll be using the can't, uh, can't stop own stop concealer as well uh, I bought uh, in cult beauty I bought the shade soft beige which was really really light I did not uh, uh, suit my face so I ended up buying the shade caramel in Nika so this is what the shade uh, concealer shade looks like so first i'm gonna take my uh foundation so uh, this foundation is really good for oily skin type and it is a full coverage matte uh, foundation and it has a little bit thicker in consistency so uh, first i'm gonna use a brush to blend, uh, spread the product all over my face then i'm gonna use a beauty blender to blend the product so i have taken this much i'm gonna uh, dot all over my face so because it is a little bit thicker it dries a little bit fast so you know uh, you need to be a little bit faster in blending uh, this foundation so i'll be using the pack uh, face series brush so i'm going to just uh, dab like that So guys as you can see it's a really a good full coverage foundation and uh, as you can see it blends beautifully with the brush. Uh, with the beauty blender also it will blend but uh, because it dries a little bit faster I like to use my brush to blend this foundation. So after this point I'm gonna take my beauty blender I'm gonna blend uh, further. So I'm using a new beauty blender so this is the Pro Arte beauty blender. Uh, yesterday I used for my insta video I really really like this beauty blender guys if you watch my insta video I have shown in that uh, insta video so I'm gonna show the dry sponge uh, which I bought uh, so this is what the packaging of the beauty blender comes in so this is a smaller size you will be shocked so as you can see this is the uh, dry sponge and this is the wet sponge as you can see the size of the beauty blender and it feels so cushiony and it blends really beautifully uh, since I used the Constar foundation I could not able to show you uh, the full moment how the beauty blender works but anyway in my future videos I will be showing you so I am gonna just spread like that foundation is done now we'll moving on to the concealer first i'm gonna use the shade caramel to cover my dark spots and which is uh, my skin tone shade so it doesn't give any brightness i mean but it covers my scars so this is the first time i'm trying this shade i hope this will gonna perform very nice so this time i'm gonna take my beauty blender to blend this uh, concealer so guys as you can see this uh, concealer is blending beautifully I don't I don't feel that uh, heaviness on concealer or foundation so as you can see it's matching uh, to my skin tone guys as you can see concealer and foundation together gives that really a flawless finish now I'm gonna uh, use a shade of soft beige to highlight my face so this is what it looks like i'm gonna take a very slight amount because it's too light for my skin tone i did not see the shade when i was buying at that time as you can see this shade is too light so if i apply directly it will become so ashy after some time so guys this beauty blender is really an amazing beauty blender must try guys i really like this beauty blender and this beauty blender priced at rupees only 225 rupees um it's a Pro Arte's best product I feel and I have used their kind of brushes I also I, I really like those accessories I mean 
tools sorry so concealer is fully blended i'm gonna do my cream contouring using the k beauty contour stick so this is in the shade of coco focus um i have used it twice but i didn't get a chance to uh, talk in talk with you about this product so this is what the it looks like it's a typical a uh, standard k beauty uh, design so i'm gonna start from forehead so this product also blends beautifully it's a cream to powder formula so uh, when you apply it will become uh, it will be like a cream product and when you blend it will blend beautifully so it doesn't stick on your uh, uh, face so i'm gonna take the pack two to one brush to blend this concealer I mean sorry contour so this product comes in three different uh, um, um, what shades so whatever your skin tone you can find your uh, shade this is uh, I'm using the shade uh, deeper so this is the deeper shade in this range so guys as you can see it's blending beautifully the best part uh, in this uh, contour stick it doesn't remove uh, your foundation you can blend easily without any um, keeping your mind that it may remove your foundation it doesn't do all those things as you can see it just blends with the foundation very beautifully so you won't have to worry about uh, your foundation at all so i don't have any new powder to set my concealer so i'll be using my maybelline fit me powder uh, i was planning to buy the uh, nyx can't stop won't stop powder but uh, there was no offer i bought the concealer when there was a uh, offer running on so when they put that product in offer i'm gonna try and let you know because it's little bit costly to the powder so i'm gonna set it with the maybelline powder so to set my entire face i don't have any new powder so i'll be using the pack compact powder so next i'm gonna set my face with the pack fixation fixing spray So guys, half of the face is done. I'm gonna finish my eye makeup and then I'm gonna complete my rest of my face. So first to fill in my eyebrows, I'm gonna use this product. So this is the Sugar, um, what is it called? Arch Arrival Brow Definer. This is in the shade Flex Felix Onyx. So this is what it looks like and this is what the outer packaging comes in. And I, I really wanted to try this product from long time but I could not get a chance to try. So I'm gonna fill in my eyebrows with this. So this is a retractable form. So guys, as you can see, my eye, both the eyebrows are really looking very bold. So this is how I need my eyebrows to look like. So I really like this product. It's very bold and I, I really like this uh, pigmentation. So I'm gonna brush uh, my product with the spoolie which comes with the other end of the product. So this is a very handy product. I really like this kind of a product so that you don't have to search for the spoolie. And the spoolie is very very soft guys. The bristles are very soft. It doesn't feel uh, very harsh. So next for the eye makeup I have a new palette with me. This is from Colourpop. So this is what it looks like. I'm super super excited guys. So this is the So Jaded palette. Uh, this is the collaboration palette with the Kathleen Lights you might have known. So i got my in my hands um two days back but i did not try it till now i really wanted to try in front of you guys so this is what the original packaging looks like the outer packaging also looks the same similar i really like the vibe the, uh, the palette is super amazing guys i'm gonna open and show you i have a plastic cover let me remove it so i have a plastic cover to cover so this is what the shade looks like oh my god look at that um i really like this color so this is something very different from any other palette i have seen uh, from color pop so i really wanted to try this palette so i'm gonna start with some warmer shades first i'm gonna take this shade so i'm gonna place that shade as my transition shade as you can see quite pigmented and blending quite nicely So next I'm gonna take this shade, Ooh, can you look at that pigment, guys super amazing pigment. So I'm gonna take that previous uh, BH Cosmetics brush to blend the edges because it's super pigmented, I never expected. So next I'm gonna use some deeper shades, uh, I'm gonna use this blue. I'm have um super impressed with this color i'm gonna place this on my outer corner Ooh, wow i'm 
guys look at the pigment so i'm gonna blend uh, after applying and then i'm gonna bring towards my inner corner so i'm gonna take this uh, brown shade just to deepen up the outer corner let me try a uh, different different colors today okay i shouldn't have used this one um i lost that uh, blue one okay i'm gonna go back to that blue so my outer corners have become so dark i'm gonna try to blend further so i'm gonna take that previous uh, brown shade i'm gonna try to blend it guys uh, somehow i could manage and i blended very nicely but even though i had tried so many colors it blended beautifully and placed superbly i really like this palette guys i need to try more and more often to create more different looks i mean i'll be trying to make you a easy look as well so uh, for my lid i really wanted to try this uh, shade so let me try with the dry shade then we'll go to uh, if it there is no pigment i'll be wetting my brush oh my god look at that it's a dry shade wow amazing pigment as you can see it's just a dry shade it's placed beautifully on my eyelids so again i'm gonna take this blue um to blend further this time i'm gonna take a very less product so i'm gonna take that lime green again and uh, to blend with the matte shade so i'm gonna take that uh, blending brush to blend everything together so next for the liner i have this products uh, this is a vault uh, this contains cream gel liners we have 12 uh, cream gelers in this so when i uh, saw on their, their website i really wanted to try this product guys so i ended up buying and uh, i'll be using a black one so i'll be using this shade and this is shade called swell i'm gonna use a cream gel liner on my waterline so this are uh, super pigmented and super opaque as you can see quite pigmented so if you can get this product definitely you can uh, you have to try this product guys they are super super quality pigmented and i really like color pop products at all so i bought all the color pop products from their own website itself um but it takes little bit time to reach in my place more than one month so that's the only con i have from their website so next we'll be moving on to the eyeliner for the liner i have the l'oreal paris matte signature eyeliner so yeah this is what it looks like so this is what the tip looks like i'm gonna create a small wing using this product so this is super matte uh, if this product has a weird smell i did not like the fragrance um it's very harsh fragrance uh, except that everything is really nice as you can see the tip is very uh, nice and i can easily draw my line, wing liners so guys now i used this uh, shade uh, this is uh, kind of a mustardy yellow i just wanted to try this one um so i don't know how it feel let me know how you guys feel so this is the shade called uh, sub zero yeah it's looking really nice so i'm gonna take this uh, blue again i'm gonna take this uh, brown again so i'm gonna use this uh, transition shade again to blend further on my lower lash line i'm gonna take a pencil brush to go do this for my inner corners i'm gonna use this uh, champagne shade white pigmented shade for the inner corner i'm gonna slightly apply on my brow bone just a tiny bit and then i'm gonna blend with my fingers itself so that's pretty much i'm gonna do for my eye next i'm gonna use some mascara so this is the uh, maybelline push-up drama mascara wow such an amazing mascara guys uh, it stays up to more than um, 12 to 13 hours basically because when i applied for the first time i forgot to remove with my micellar water and i just removed with my wa plain water it did not remove at all the next morning it was there so it stays up to more than 12 to 13 hours so guys eyes are done uh, i really like this so jaded palette guys if you want to see different looks let me know in the comments as you can see I, it blended very nicely there was no so much fallout and i used different different colors then too it placed super nicely and blended super nicely so must try palette guys uh, if you get if you can get your in your hands please try this palette and i do recommend to everyone 
everyone so now i'm gonna finish off my face first i'm gonna use some contour or bronzer actually this is a contour palette so this is from profusion cosmetics which is a highlight and contour uh, palette too which contains six different shades these are three highlighter shades these are two contour shades so this is to uh, set your under eyes to and to give it that brightening effect so i'm gonna use this shade this is a, a warmer shade and this is a cooler shade so guys as you can see pigment is superb and it blends really nicely so a small amount goes a long way so i'm using the brush uh, from face uh, pack cosmetics this is a contour brush from their face series so guys the uh, bronzer is done as you can see it gives a surely bronzing effect to my face this is the first time and first product i'm using from profusion so i really wanted to try some product from profusion and i ended up buying this product so if you want me to try any particular products let me know in the comments so that i can uh, review for you guys so anyway i don't have a new blush so i'll be using my wet n wild color icon blush in the shade mellow wine so next for the highlighter I have a new product with me this is the L'Oreal Paris uh, Le Bar A blush so this is in the shade B Brave so this is what the outer packaging comes in and this is what the original package looks like this is the shade looks like guys I haven't tried till now uh, so this is, would be my first impression as well so I'm gonna take my Lakara brush to use let me try this comes with a mirror guys so handy oh nice it has a very subtle uh, highlighting effect as you can see there is no chunkiness and also pigmented this smells very nicely guys it has a um, uh, some sweet smell it's a perfect shade for my skin tone it's like a champagne gold kind of a shade so guys as you can see highlighter is just beaming i really like this highlighter guys um definitely a must try product as you can see it's just shining it's just uh, very subtle on my face i don't see that i have applied so much product at all and uh, it's so uh, fine it did not have any chunky particles like that so i really like the highlighter so next i'm gonna finish off with this look with this uh, color pop black lipsticks uh, this is in the uh, shade uh, has the baby which contain two lipstick in this so this is a liquid lipstick and this is what the shade looks like and this is what the packaging looks like this is the other new this is the new formula so we have uh, one brown shade one uh, pinky shade and uh, let me try both on my lips this is a velvety moussey kind of a texture generally i don't like velvet finish but i really wanted to try this uh, formula so i bought it feels so comfortable on my lips as i told you it's a velvety moussey texture so to create some ombre effect i'll be using this also this one is called buttercup which is a pinky nude so i'm gonna apply this on my center of my lips just to create a, some ombre effect so guys i really like the combo of these lipsticks so let me uh, set my hairs and i'll be back to show you how it looks with the hair so guys this is the final makeup look hope you like this video guys i did a falsies as well to create that uh, beautiful drama effect to my eyes so definitely i need a lashes to this eye look i use the uh, hina hina lashes in haya which is uh, really a comfortable lashes i feel so guys hope you like this video if you like it give it a thumbs up comment below what was your opinion and uh, all the products which i used in this video will be given in the bottom bar please do check that out and i'll see you in my next video guys thank you so much for watching before leaving if you're new to my channel take a moment to subscribe and uh, do follow me on my instagram as well so guys thank you so much for watching i'll see you in my next video bye